Welcome to the last chapter of this tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to use the new candles component, how to add indicators to the candles, and then we are going to improve the previous exercise by doing the price ceiling and price floor dynamic based on the Bollinger Bands. Let's get into it. We're going to use the same script that we were using before, and we are going to use the candles factory to create the instance of the candles that we want. As you can see, we need the connector that we want, the trading pair, and the interval. The two connectors that are available right now are Binance Spot and Binance Perpetuals. But soon we are going to add more sources. The candles component is a mix between WebSockets and REST. It's getting the most updated candles via WebSocket and collecting the historical candles that you need via REST. By default, this component is collecting 500 candles but you can specify the ones that you want with this parameter. Suppose that we want only 400, we can define it like that. It's important to know that we will need to start the candles on the init and also on stop, we will need to stop them since it's a network iterator and if not, we'll be running after you stop the strategy. So let's add the init first. And also let's add the on stop. This method is very handy if you want to do a custom shutdown when you run the stop command. For example, if you want to rebalance the portfolio before the bot stops or whatever you want. The next thing that we are going to do is before creating the proposal, we are going to calculate the price seeding price floor. In order to do that, we are going to add another method here and we are going to access the candles DF, that is a data frame with the candles. We are going to use pandas TA to add the Tendiga indicators. For that, I will need to import pandas TA. Pandas TA lets us add this dot TA and then the indicator that we want and it's going to append the indicator to the data frame that we are using. It's important to notice that we decided to use Pandas TA because the API to add indicators is very straightforward. And if you want more performance, you can use as a backend TA leave. Pandas TA has that feature built in. So I would recommend you to read the docs if you want to learn more about Pandas TA. The next thing that we're going to do is to get the last row and the indicators of the upper bound and the lower bound of the Bollinger Bands. And we are assigning those values to the price ceiling and price floor. As it is, the script should work because this logic was validated with the example before when we have a fixed price ceiling and price floor. We will also need to add on the ONTIC method a condition that only will create orders if the candles are ready. Remember that the candles are going to stream via WebSocket the new information and then it's going to collect via REST the information that is missing. And if you want, I don't know, 10,000 candles, probably is going to take like five seconds to collect the 10,000 records. And if you don't have that information ready, we are going to have some issues on this method. So let's add that condition. The candles component has a feature that will let you know if the candle is ready or not. Before we move on, let's customize a little bit the formal status to also show the values of the candles. As you can see here, we are using a list to store all the strings that we are going to add to the status. We are using the same information that we were using before. And also we are extending the values of the candles here. So we are going to see the candles in real time. Now let's test our script.
As you can see, the formal status is showing in real time the information of the candles. You have all this information available to use, and also you can see the information that is appended by Pandas TA. As you can see, the price ceiling and the price floor now is dynamic. So we made it. Now we have a custom price ceiling price floor feature based on the Bollinger Bands. Congratulations.